Then from there we go to our D7, uh, D7, G7, C. And that's called the dominant and the secondary dominant. Well, yeah, we got the dominant is G7, the secondary dominant is D7. D7, beautiful. So sort of tertiary dominant, you know, dominant. Circle of fifths. Circle of fifths. Obviously, the circle can go on further. Of we course, could, you we could. Did it you could. Times we'd get back to C. You can even put bourbon, scotch, and tequila in in it, and uh, no, then. That would not you, be good for your. Well, uh, you know. Like a fool, I mixed them, and it strangled up my mind. Life, but, uh, and now people just get uglier, and I have no sense of time. Hot tamales. Go ahead, for me. Now, go, go up the neck for me, Sensei. Well, I'm going to in one moment. Just yes. uh, take a break. Uh -oh. A break. What? So, uh, well, before we did it the, in the first position, now we're, so, so we're looking at different ways you can voice it. There's, yes, there's one are. that's basically the same, but a little variant. Instead of. You can walk down um, the, you know, this, this, uh, the a, a major half bar. Yeah. The chord that we do. We can walk it down from the fifth fret. Right? Yeah. So, and then, and so on like that. You could, uh, an, another uh, version of this is voicing it up here in this, in this position of the yeah, neck. Yeah, go. G7 chord up there. And there's a G7. And back to... Could you play it for me, my friend? thing for me, sir? You are a genius. I, I, this is, uh, this is what's this called? Hot, hot tamales, tamales it's baby. Johnson, it's, right. a, it's a, you know, a, a rag. Cinnam uh, it's got cinnamon buns of fifths. Uh, yeah, it's got a, a, a little circle of fifths pattern in it, but we've been talking about this morning. Dominance. Secondary dominance. Secondary dominance. Uh, the, so the circle of fifths. Yeah, just to, to, to reiterate what the... The, the fifth that we, of we the fifth. About. Yeah, we're talking about the... So the, the yes, thank the you. The five chord, the five dominant yeah. five chord. Dominant five, so five seven chord is G seven. That we're, we're familiar with that. That's the five chord in, in C. Right. G seven. Now we're just going to look at what would the five chord of G be? G B. It's D seven. And then, so we wrap wrap our heads around D seven, G seven, C. So increasing yes. the tension back towards the tonic, back towards the one chord. So let's think of the tonic as like tequila, right? Yeah, we're always trying to get back to the tequila places, bottle. Uh, a place of uh, repose and Thank you. Uh, right, a place of happiness. rest. That's it. Um, That's the resolution. Mm -hmm, exactly. That's why they call it resolution. Exactly. And then, so let's uh, look at the dominant of the secondary dominant. So then we have uh, the five of of, uh, of of five of five, right? Yes. So it's, uh, the five of the D is A seven. 
So let's turn that through that whole progression. So we have the A7 to D7 to G7 back home to one. Okay. So then we have a, a little uh, second to see what it does with this. Yeah. Yeah. And this is uh, these are the chords of all the 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 rags, right? The the rags the 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 rags, it's a little different than what you call it ragtime, like the music of Scott Joplin and, and uh, you know, the turn of the turn of the century, um, American popular music for piano and stuff. But this is a, it, but the, the this style of song is influenced by that in uh, a roundabout kind of fashion, or perhaps has a common ancestry in some other nineteenth century music. But these are these are, uh, you know, most of the great blues bluesmen have a song that has this progression in it. So we're looking at the Hot Tamales, the Rob Johnson one. Um, you know, it's, uh, 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 it says uh, Tommy Johnson has a beautiful one. Uh, wonder, wonder, will I ever get back home? So, uh, uh, and then uh, m many, many, most of the, the the guys you can think of have a song that's that's like this. Uh, Sun House has a Am I right or wrong? Right, that's that's a secondary dominant song. That's on um, his uh, his Alan Lomax recordings from from forty forty one or forty two, um, and uh, and Blind Boy Fuller. I mean, you know the the. The blues musicians from further north, like the Carolinas, the, this style is very prevalent in that music. And you know, some of the some of the, the East Coast uh, players, like Blind Blake, that's he focused more on this kind of style than on, you know, as opposed to the Delta uh, sound. What, uh, blues progressions, or not traditional, but you know, the, the mm -hmm. more familiar, well, you know, one four five blues progressions. Uh, so okay, so go for it, baby. So hot tamales. 